Hello and welcome to a new episode of Science with Jay Raj. Today I am going to demonstrate a physics experiment of class 12, Ohm's law. Now we can see what is the aim of Ohm's law to determine resistivity of two wires by plotting a graph for potential difference versus current. Now we will see what all apparatus are required for this experiment. Apparatus required battery, resistance wire, key, rheostat, voltmeter, ammeter, and a screw gauge. Now let us see the principle behind this experiment. By Ohm's law, we know that R equal to V by I, where V is the voltage, I is the current and R is the resistance and the equation for resistivity of the material rho equal to R A by L in which rho is the resistivity, A is the area of cross section and L is the length of the wire. Now we have a graph V A graph in which V is plotted along X axis and I is plotted along Y axis. The graph will be a straight line passing through the origin and the reciprocal of the slope of the graph will give the resistance of the material and also the cot theta equal to the resistance of the material. Now let us see the circuit diagram for performing the experiment Ohm's law. Here there is a battery, a rheostat is connected in series with that and a key is connected here and a meter is connected in series and the resistance wire is connected and the voltmeter is connected in parallel with the resistance. Now let us see the tabular column. The first column is the number, we have to take 5 readings. The next four column is for voltage and the next column for current and the last column R equal to V by L. Here we calculate the resistance in each cases. Now I have arranged all the apparatus on this table. This is a battery box. It contains two dry cells. Positive is red, black is negative. This is the key. These are connecting wires. This is the ammeter with positive polarity here, negative polarity here. This is the resistance wire whose resistance is to be found out. This is a voltmeter with a positive polarity here and negative polarity here. This is a rheostat. For this rheostat, there are three terminals. Two terminals below and one terminal at the top. We have to use one terminal at the bottom and one terminal at the top. This is a screw gauge for finding the diameter of the wire. Now I have made the connections. From the positive terminal of the battery, it is connected to the key. From the key to the positive terminal of a meter. From the negative terminal of a meter to the resistance wire. And in parallel with the resistance wire, a voltmeter is connected with polarity like this, positive here and negative here. And from the resistance wire, it is connected to the top terminal of the rheostat. And from the bottom terminal of the rheostat, it is connected to the negative terminal of the battery. Now I am going to take reading, I close the key and by adjusting the rheostat, I made the voltage 0.5 volt and the corresponding current I measured that is equal to 0.2 ampere, 0.2 ampere and I have marked the values voltage 0.5 volt current 0.2 ampere and I calculate the, calculated the resistance 2.5 ohm. Now another set of reading. Here it is 1 volt. Here it is 0.4 ampere. It is marked in the tabular column. Voltage is 1 volt. Current is 0.4 ampere. 
and the resistance is again 2.5 ohm and by changing the rheostat i change the voltage into 1.5 volt 2 volt 2.5 volt and i got the currents 0.6 ampere 0.8 ampere 1 ampere and in all these three cases i got the value of resistance 2.5 ohm using the obtained value i plotted a graph by plotting voltage along x axis and current along y axis i got a graph which is passing through the origin and which is a straight line all points are marked here now in this graph i have plotted a triangle to obtain the reciprocal of its slope this region is delta v equal to 1.5 volt and delta i from this point to this point it is 0.6 ampere then the reciprocal of slope that is cot theta delta v by delta i i got as 2.5 ohm itself now we have to find the diameter of this wire for that using a screw gauge we are going to find out the diameter of the wire first we are taking the zero correction for this zero correction is zero there is no zero correction then placing the wire in the screw gauge i am taking readings i am taking five readings and i am going to mark it on the tabular column so i have taken five set of readings the zero correction is zero and different hsrs are here all the psrs are zero psr means pitch scale reading hsr means head scale reading and the corrected hsr means hsr plus or minus zero correction and then corrected hsr into lc the lc or least count of this screw gauge is 0 0.01 millimeter and uh, psr plus corrected hsr into lc is taken they are all in millimeter and finally the mean of the reading is 0 0.552 millimeter that means mean diameter of the wire equal to 0.55 millimeter or 0.55 into 10 raised to minus 3 meter now we are taking the length of the resistance wire used using a meter scale we got it as 50 centimeter that is 0.5 meter now we are calculating the resistivity of the material using the data the mean resistance is 2.5 ohm the mean diameter of the wire is 0.55 to 10 raised to minus 3 meter the length of the wire 50 centimeter that is 0.5 meter and our equation for resistivity rho equal to r a by l area equal to pi r square but resist, res, uh, radius equal to diameter by 2 so we got the equation r into pi d square by 4 l we substituted the values and we got the final answer as 1.187 into 10 raised to minus 6 ohm meter. This is the resistivity of the material of the wire we used. Now we have to write the result. We have two results. First result is the resistance of the wire. From calculations it is 2.5 ohm. From VA graph it is 2.5 ohm. And the next result is the resistivity of the wire equal to 1.187 into 10 raised to minus 6 ohm meter for scientific experiments videos subscribe our channel science with jairaj thank you